Madden, Baskerville Chambers. Most of the wags in the profession insist on calling it basket case chambers. <laughs> now, we've been continually reminded here that we are relics from Jurassic Park. <laughs> May I remind the other side of a very old and true saying. Old age and treachery will very often triumph of youth and skill. <laughs> I've uh, made some notes tonight, when I'm addressing juries, I normally don't use notes. And when I'm addressing juries, I normally know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As a lawyer, I approach the, uh, the subject by trying to analyze what the question is. This house believes that the growth of social media is the single biggest challenge facing journalism today. I went to the Oxford uh, English Dictionary, the large volume, this afternoon, and every aspect of social was uh, described in great detail. Uh, we had uh, social diseases, uh, socialism. The only thing that wasn't defined was social media. But I guess social media is a little bit like the elephant. Uh, it's difficult to describe, but everyone knows one when they see one. And on that basis, I'm prepared to accept that we're talking about here, like Facebook, we're talking about LinkedIn, we're talking about Twitter, and probably a host of others. I have none of those. I have none of those, not just because I'm from Jurassic Park, as I've been reminded, but in all fairness to the ICAC, they have enough difficulty monitoring my mobile phone, my home phone, and my chamber's phone, and put that burden on it just be like that. It seems to me that what this question poses is the proposition that the growth of social media is the single biggest challenge facing journalism. Now, seems to me that there's a suggestion there that the growth of social media is somehow a, a negative connotation. We argue the opposite. What we say is that the growth of modern social media, the ones that I've referred to and others, are in fact nothing more than a modern asset to journalism. Point of what, information. Yeah, sure. Sir, if the role of journalism in collecting, investigating, and distributing information have all been relegated to only becoming a fact checker, how is that not a negative challenge to journalism today? I don't think we make that concession, if I can continue. Um, what we say is that the threats to journalism these days, the challenges to journalism, are the same challenges that have always existed. The traditional enemies of journalism have been around for at least a hundred years, if not longer. Um, as Thomas Jefferson reminded us some time ago, the liberty of the press cannot be limited without being lost. And we say, and, and I'll sum up what I say on behalf of our side, what are the traditional threats to journalism today, the challenges to journalism today, but the way in which we approach the social media, the modern social media, we say that really it simply is another tool that has evolved with time. It assists in bringing social media into the 21st century it's one more string to the bow, no more, no less. It's a breath of fresh air in many ways because it gives us the perspective of instant news. Now, I have a theory, 
and I'm going to share the theory with you, and I suspect many of you may agree with me. And it's this. We live in an age of instantaneous news. And that's a very good thing. Because I genuinely believe we will never have another world war because we live in this era of, of modern, immediate communications. The reason why World War I occurred was because some fanatic shot an Austrian Archduke in Sarajevo and by the time the word got out and people started to realize what had happened and then got their ducks in a row, if I can use a common phrase, uh, it was all too late because the avalanche had already started coming down the mountain and uh, it absorbed Europe in this awful war between 1914 and 1918. The same thing applied in the 1939-1945 war. We lived in an era then where communications were slow. The way in which the word got out was one of our enduring journalists here, Claire Hollingworth, was in a telephone booth on the Polish border, ringing up her newspaper and passing the message on that the German panzers were crossing the Polish border. Now, if modern media had existed in those days, we wouldn't have had that. I doubt we would have had the calamitous wars, the two calamitous wars that we had. Modern media is a great, allows everybody to galvanize themselves into action and to put the fires out before the fires start to rage. And a very good example of that we've seen recently is Syria. Syria, in the old days, might have turned into a Sarajevo. But because of the, the modern means of communication, the modern social media we have, as well as conventional media, that things don't start to take off. So, for very good reasons, I, I think we're very happy with with social media, we say it's not a challenge. In the negative sense, we say it's a very positive asset. The traditional enemies of journalism remain what they always were. Irresponsible journalism, phone taps, news of the world, sensationalism, people reporting without corroboration, checkbook journalism, state control, what about the state of the media in the glorious motherland at the moment with crackdowns going on all over the place? We say that, apart from that, the other real threat to journalism is monopoly. Rupert Murdoch backs Blair in one election. Next he backs Cameron. 2007 in Australia he backs Rudd. 2013 he backs Abbott, so the Conservatives are in. These are the traditional enemies of journalism. Uh, social media is just one more assisting modern aspect to assist the fourth estate. 